Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to our Satisfactory 1.0 playthrough. We've done quite a lot since the last episode. I mostly was working on the factory building and some blueprinting stuff, but I also decided we needed more power, so I came over here to oil. And before I knew it, I had set up a whole freaking fuel power plant. So let's walk, let's walk you guys through that. Uh, it's all coming off of one pure node here. And that pure node has 300 a minute clocked. I'll just avoid the enemies here. And I did make a blueprint for the fuel power plant. So you can only fit one inside of the 4x4x4 four 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 blueprinter. However, what I blueprinted was... Um, if you look, you can see there's the, the pipe attached to the front there. And... Um, on the back, I put a power pole. So that doesn't seem like that much, but it makes setting it up so much easier because all you have to do is connect power pole to power pole and then connect pipe to the next pipe and then you're done. So it, it, you know, it's a small thing, but it still saves a lot of time. And we already have our refinery blueprint. I can't remember if we made that on video or off video, but it's, it's a pretty similar blueprint to um, my other ones where it uses the vertical uh, the conveyor lifts to kind of lift the the resource back and it goes over the pipes and then the pipes kind of go in so that's my that's my build for refineries and so we've got the fuel coming in here it gets hooked up I could deconstruct all this part because we're not doing any physical input or I always say physical I mean solid we're not doing any solid inputs so then there you go. We got these guys running and I underclocked them to 84% because I can. Might as well save a little bit of power. Um, it's not going to save much. You might think it saves a lot, but if you had all of them fully clocked, the last one just wouldn't run at full speed. And so that would save some power too. But underclocking helps your power graph be a little more consistent, so you might as well do it. Um, it's, you know, you might as well do it if it's not that hard to do. Anyway, we got our polymer resin coming out here. I'm not doing anything with it uh, right now. I'm just sinking all of it. I could do something with it, but whatever. We'll just leave it as is for now. And then all the fuel comes over here. Six of those generators is enough to produce... I think each one... Well, basically I'm using all of the oil. So 300 oil goes to 200 fuel and each fuel generator can handle 20 fuel a minute. And so we have 10. One, two, three, four, five, two on each side. And there you go. And that's, that's the thing. That's the fuel power plant, 2.5 gigawatts right there. I also uh, unlocked a few more researches, like milestone-wise and MAM-wise. We'll go back and talk about that, but I built batteries. Um, I should have more, honestly, more batteries. I should do a blueprint for batteries because they're kind of a pain in the butt to build one by one. But I could do a little blueprint for like six batteries or something. Build them in little clusters. They only charge at a maximum of 100 megawatts. Oh, I unlocked geothermal generators too, which we'll have to get some of those built. Because those are awesome. Free power. And I also noticed that they make a range of power, which is new. They didn't used to do that. So they average out to a certain amount, but you'll need um, the power storages to, you know, handle that. So I might just make a few right here, actually. Uh, what's that? Five, six, seven, we'll do eight. Power. I'll just power up three from each power pole. Okay, easy enough. Uh, and that gives me, these are each 100 megawatt hours, which means one hour of supplying 100 megawatts. 
or so they'll take an hour to charge up basically but they can discharge faster so they're really really even just one battery would be enough for like if you had a weird spike to supply that um, I also unlocked the priority power switches so I don't totally understand these because they're new since the last time I played so I'm gonna build one and we're gonna connect it up like this and I don't know how any of this works. So, enter name. This is fuel power plant. Circuit break priority. Um, where do I select? Do that. It's in priority group one. It is high priority. I see. So then if I turn it off, which end is now disconnected? Like if, uh, does that make sense what I'm asking? Like, if I have more stuff on the grid, how does it determine which one? I don't know if I understand what I'm even trying to ask. Um, like, this grid... Yeah, I don't think this makes any sense, because this is always supplying power. It never needs power. Um... So I don't think it makes any sense. I feel like you do circuit breakers to supply power so that it'll turn off the supply. So if it's off, it treats it like two separate grids. But what I'm what I'm wondering is when you get to these, does it start <sighs> What am I saying? So if the switch is on, it's connected. So basically it'll start disconnecting grids at lower priorities, which couldn't that lower your power? Like if you had priority group eight, if I put this here and all of a sudden I didn't have enough power, would it switch that off? Because it's in the lowest group and then that would actually end up reducing power to the main base. I think it would. If, if I'm guessing at the behavior correctly, that's what would happen. Obviously that would be bad, so I shouldn't set it up that way. Uh, but I think that's what would happen. Anyway, we've got a lot of oil here and I still haven't decided how I want to get it back to the base. There was a summer sloop there. Um, do we want to do a truck or not? I want to do a truck. I kind of, I'm thinking thinking I do. I know, I know, I know I was talking about how we could just do a long pipeline in the last episode, but I think I've changed my mind. I think I want to do packaged. Uh, we can scan for geysers now, too. So let's find the next one. So it's over here. And we're gonna get the oil into packaging. Man, I love the quartz rebar. It is great. Except I don't love you. Ah, you got me. Come on. There we go. There we go. Give me those spitter remains. What is this? A normal node? Ah, come on. Just a normal? There's another normal over there. So that's really all there is over here, huh? Up here and two normals? Interesting. I thought I remembered there being more. Well, it's not. We do unlock Mark II pipes pretty soon. Oh, I got hyper tubes unlocked as well. I got all sorts of various, uh, what are they called? You know, things that look nice, aesthetic. Cosmetics unlocked. 
But yeah, for now. Of course, we have some creatures in the way. It's on my list uh, to get, you can see over on the right side, cluster novelists unlocked. And with that will also come unlocks for better ammo types and such. Okay, so these overclock to exactly 300, which I will do. Where's the power? Oh, it's on the side. I hate it when it's on the back. I can go out this way. All right, and should have enough head lift to get over here. Come around this one. of some trees here. Perfect. Who needs a chainsaw when you have explosives? It's way more satisfying. Way more satisfying, let me tell you. Alright, that's hooked up. And then this guy goes over here. Okay, so then we've got all of our fuel. We're gonna need stackable pipeline supports. I'm gonna take it across the water. Like so. And then we'll have our little vehicle depot over here. I think. Probably do noodle. I feel like noodle is kind of the smoothest. Literally spaghetti. Overclocked to the max. 161 power shards. I have quite a few, you could say. Alright, so this is going to be 600 fuel a minute. And we need to package it here. Do I, uh, do I need two vehicle stops? I do. We need to unload the empty packages. Oh no. Hold on. Um. How does this work? I guess I need to prime the pump with a proper amount of packages. I wasn't going for alliteration there, but that was a pretty successful alliteration. Prime the pup with the proper amount of packages. The proper... Rice? No. Uh, anyway. So, what I'm thinking... Because we'll need a truck station. Unload the empty packages and then load the full packages. And we'll have a buffer between the two. To fill it up. Uh, I guess. I guess. Let me put that on the global grid because we can. And these should be 4 meter foundation. Um. I think. Alright. 
I don't know how wide. Perfect proportion of packages. There you go. Thank you. That's that's perfect. Perfect package proportion. Peter Piper picked. <laughs> what am I looking for? Transport. Truck station. Okay, so you drive past the one. And then you drive past the other in, a, in order. And then back here, we'll do the packaging of the fuel. And guess what? You guys will never guess. I made a packager blueprint. Yeah, I did. Um, so that's already ready to go. And I can't remember which way it goes. Right, and yeah, yeah, that's, it's always the same. I have to set up in on the left, out on the right. So it's kind of backwards compared to where I would like things to be. Okay, so then we need empty containers in here, which are gonna come out of this one. And then we need full containers of fuel to go down there and then into the input of that one. And do we need to extensify this guy? What's up, Bionic Beans? Howdy, howdy. Packaged oil. We only get 30 a minute? Why are packagers so bad? Really? You want me to do 10 packagers for a single pipe? That really, I mean, obviously I can overclock and then it's only four, but still that feels uh, unnecessarily slow to me. And it really feels like they're encouraging the player to not package oil. That makes it extraordinarily annoying because you're going to need 10 packagers running. That's 100 megawatts to package a single pipeline. That's making me rethink this. Should I just do a long pipeline? I'm just going to do a long pipeline. If it wasn't that many packagers, I would rethink it. But like at this point, I already would need 20 packagers. Eight if they're overclocked on both sides, right? Just to do these two pipes. That's not worth it. It's kind of a bummer that it's not worth it, but let me consider for one more moment before I re deconstruct all this. Would I ever need oil in a different spot? Because that would be the benefit to doing it this way. Um, I think I'm fine. Well, get rid of all of it. Ah, maximum dismantle limit. Got there. All right, I can just do blueprint dismantle for that. And yeah, that's kind of a bummer that packagers are that bad. I didn't realize they were that bad. Only 30 a minute. Do they give you a Mark II packager? They might give you a Mark II packager later. I hope they do. <sighs> so this is now a giant pain in the butt because we have to do the thing that we hate doing. Um, for you YouTubians, I'm gonna save you the trouble. I'm gonna pause the recording and we're gonna we're gonna do this off camera for. And we are back. Welcome back, everybody. We built a long pipeline from all the way over there, all the way along. And we had to put pumps in, what, three places? So it wasn't too bad. Um, oops, word just got in my way. Uh, yeah, and we should be getting, it'll take a minute, but I have pumps over there. And I'm pretty sure they'll be able to crest this hill. Um, it just takes a minute for them to fill up first. Although I could be wrong. No, it's flowing. Yeah, once it kind of gets in, then it 
comes over the top and then flows at the full 300 a minute until it fills stuff downstream and then it'll fill back up to the top. So we'll double check once it's all backed up, but I think we're good to go. And yeah, let me show you the factory and what we've done since kind of the last episode. I've done quite a bit. I don't remember exactly where we left off, but it was quite a few hours ago. So in terms of my big factory building, the Lodro factory building, we designed uh, the underneath part with some pillars so that it's not just empty. And this is where, I don't know, trucks can drive or we can do logistics under the floor if we need to. But most of the logistics of belting is going to be right here. I've already got 12 belts set up that can come in. We've got two for each of the primary resources, which are iron, copper, and limestone. And then we've got one for each of the rare resources. And then that leaves us with one extra belt. And I can always add in more as well if we need to that are higher. So we can just stack more on top of this. And yeah, I made windows for the building and we're using kind of a teal color. And I've got these beams uh, as kind of architectural support kind of in between some of the window frames. And we set up iron and copper smelting blueprints, as well as a steel one over here. So we've got steel going now. And basically I can factory the heck out of whatever we want to make now. And I got quartz lined up. Or no, that's Sam. All right, we got Sam lined up and coal. And I still need limestone and all the, all the rest. So, on the list is what? Geothermal power, cluster nobelisks, and hypertubes everywhere. Yes, yes, yes. So I want to do hypertubes. Um, we'll have to figure out where to put where to put the old. Where are they? Transport? Yeah. We're gonna put the old hypertubes. I forget. They don't. They don't cost power constantly, right? How does hypertube powering work? Or do they cost power constantly? Actually, can't remember. Um. Whee! Turn around, turn around. Uh, where are my legs in this? Oh, am I like crouching? Oh, I see. Um, yeah, what happened to the power grid when I plug those in? Uh, it's too, too tall to tell. I need to have a separate power grid. With only these two, kind of like I did with the jump pads. If these are anything like jump pads, they don't draw constantly. I guess I need to put something burnable in, which I don't have any, so I'll have to make a crafting bench and turn some hog remains into some protein, which then I turn into biomass, which then I put in here. And it is consuming 20 megawatts. Seemingly constantly. Wow. Okay, so they don't just charge up and then turn off. They like, hypertube entrances are no joke. Obviously, once you have a giant turbo fuel power plant, it's not a big deal, but you know, 20 megawatts for every every loop is more than, I don't know, more than I want to pay. It feels kind of expensive. <laughs> you have pressure tubes for personal transport now. Yes, I do. Um, also, Bionic Beans, I didn't, I, I noticed you're coming about a hoverboard for grinding the rails. That would be awesome. That would be such a cool way to, to travel. Like, space, space skateboard. Um... Anyway, I brought, 
I did another project that we need to uh, get set up. I got sulfur over here. And I made another tractor station. And so all I need to do now is drive the loop. And it's just past the quartz. So I need to set up a second truck station over here for bringing in sulfur. And we're going to do that. Maybe I'll put it across from this one. Uh-oh. I don't want that to be a... Uh oh, no. Uh, hopefully I can delete that node and everything works. I didn't want to change the node of the other pathway into that. Interesting. Um, they're just they're just pressure tubes to travel back and forth. Okay, so we need coal, which is on that belt. There's coal. Power the truck. Okay, yeah, the other truck is still working fine. <laughs> uh totally working fine. This is this is not a problem. This is not a problem. Oh, elevated rails are gonna be so nice, B Jonas. Okay, so now I should be able to make another tractor. And this is the unload side. It's not... Oh, I need to power the... truck station. That should get... Yeah, there we go. Now the coal's coming in. Okay, so open the record menu. Am I ready to start recording? Eesh. I don't know if I am. You can pause recording me. I think so. Off we go. So it's mostly the same path for a while. alpha hog here excuse me and you know if you stand in the way of the factory's growth you uh you get sideswiped that's all i gotta say now what's gonna happen when these tractors run into each other fireworks i presume sparks will fly All right, so this is where we, uh, no, actually, whoops. Sorry, I was thinking something else. That would be if we were doing oil over there, but we're not. Oh, look, he's having fun with that power pole still. Good for him. Okay. So we come up here. We don't stop at that one. We carry on on the new beautiful path we have constructed. Goes by this other quartz. And then the sulfur is right up here. Stop there. Go around. Load cargo. Back we go. It would be nice if you could just double back a loop. It's gonna be all the same. All the 
the same nodes, assuming I can successfully drive it. A little precarious there, but I think we made it. This time we can avoid crashing into that power pole. I think. This is just a mess of blue nodes. I don't know which one's which anymore. Honestly, I don't know if it matters. Drive over some of the natives. So now that we have sulfur in the base, I would like to automate all of the new all the new stuff we have available. And then we can get the rifle going, which is fun, to be able to shoot stuff with an actual gun. Although the quartz, the, the shatter rebar is pretty dang good. Yay! Save path. Sulfur loop. One. Okay. Nope. Enable autopilot. Load path. Sulfur loop one. Okay. Did it actually get sulfur? It did. Ah, it's coming for me. Hmm. You're not supposed to go that way. Oh my. Oh jeez. What? What are you doing over there? Well, we'll see if it comes back with sulfur, I guess. <laughs> um. That's funny. Okay. And then sulfur will come out over there. We'll just go above the coal. Alright, and there's sulfur accessible to the base. Ada has it out for me. Yeah, of course she does. Sassy, sassy computer friend. Okay, so there is the sulfur. So now we need sulfur and coal. So the problem is the new one, what's it called? Black powder. And no spoilers if that's the sort of thing you're getting at. So we need smokeless powder is uh, what we want. So... Smokeless powder needs heavy oil residue, which means we're going to need to start doing fuel refinery stuff. Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking this is not a big enough factory for all of that. We might need a second floor for all of that. Maybe that's what we should do. Maybe we should do first floor is all the smelting, and then the second floor can be the processing. Oh, I'm so tired of building factory floors, though. Oh, oh, yeah. well, Ada wasn't the one that was driving those trucks, though. That's the problem. That was on me. Um, so we've got the Sam coming in here. I just don't know. Uh... 
maybe we can do some processing on this floor. Because how much more smelting do I have to do? There's Caterium ingots. There's quartz stuff. So Caterium will need its own line. I can also put another line over here and just have the Caterium come over the top, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Um, so Caterium can be over here. Maybe Concrete can be over here. Because the Concrete will be my Constructor's X8 blueprint. This blueprint is wonderful. It's so dense. Um, it's about as dense as you could make eight constructors, to be honest. I'm sure, I'm sure there's like slightly better builds, but I mean, all the constructors are next to each other and they're sharing mergers on the output. So you can't get much denser than that. So that's a good build for concrete. Maybe I'll put that one on the front here. And... I do like leaving some space for more iron processing here, though. Maybe for now, I'll, I'll just put the concrete here. Uh, let's see. Just enough space to walk between. And get those lined up. Okay. Yeah, not a lot of light, B. Jonas, unfortunately. The lighting in this game, personally, I, I, I've i harped on this a lot on stream, so I won't complain a ton. I just, I don't love it. The light doesn't spread enough, and so it feels really difficult to light up a lot. And, and every single light that you make needs a power connection, which it's kind of just a pain in the butt to, like, build lights and connect them. Um, so I wish, I wish there were just more glow lights that would just fill a whole room with, you know, some amount of radiant lighting, but instead they're like very focused, very spotlight type beams. Um, yeah, okay, so this is the input for con uh, limestone and concrete goes out. So, bringing these forward... Oh, I changed this texture as well. I like the look of that, like, uh, kind of cement rather than foundation look for this part. Yeah, yeah, there's probably a great mod for it, I'm sure. Okay, so we're bringing limestone is the last two up here. I haven't actually gotten limestone over here yet, which is a problem, but we will. Um, I'd like to get a splitter lined up here. And then we should be able to do some sort of lift up. Let's do what I've done before. And then I can do a merger on the end. And then that snaps. And then I can deconstruct these. And then we can build the lift directly off of it. Uh, not merger. I meant to do splitter. Dang it. Oh, shoot. I don't know if that's actually connected to the belt. It's not. Oh, man. We really screwed that up. Okay. Try again. <laughs> Connect. Uh... I guess I can probably just build a lift up like this. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so now the splitter's going. And then the lift can be on this side because it's... The outer edge. Hmm. 
working way too hard to get things lined up here. Alright. One, two. Hey, we did it! It's actually lined up properly. Alright, there we go. And then we just need to power up the whole thing, which we can do with the floor power. We've been utilizing. Honestly, I highly recommend it. <laughs> it It's what you do in real life. You run power through the floor. So it just makes sense to me. All right, and then from there, do a merger. And that's going to be concrete. I guess I need to align that properly. So that goes there. You go there. The merger. And those are lined up. And then we can decon. And then the output will be on level four. Straight mode, sure. You know, things line up nicely when you when you do the numbers, right? These do line up nicely. Okay, and now we just need to set the recipe on all the constructors to concrete. Copy, and I have paste as my button five on the mouse, which really is helpful. Can recommend it. Paste, 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 paste. All right, so eight of these is gonna get me 90 times four, 360 limestone a minute in to 120 concrete a minute out. So it's not a full Mark IV belt. Um, so I might copy that again. We might double that. First thing I need to do is actually get some limestone, though. Okay. So all the nearby limestone I've actually already tapped. And I think... Go ahead and bring in the limestone here. I do wish you could connect uh, multiple belts on a stackable array together at the same time. I feel like that would be helpful. Given that's a thing you do a lot of times, like it would just be nice to be able to build a multi-belt array. And even blueprints don't fix it because blueprints, um, we've talked about this before, but like they don't connect to each other. So you can build a belt array, you know, in the blueprint designer and plop it down. But then when you plop the next one, the belts don't actually auto connect. So you still are always going to have to manually click between the connections, which is a little bit uh, frustrating. Oh yeah, our limestone's over here. I remember we brought it over like a smart cookie or at least designed it so that we could bring it over. So that's, that's nice. I already have it over here. Um, no, where exactly to put it? I go from there to there. Yeah. Then maybe that one. Okay. And then we can overclock this miner to get a little bit more. Miner, 
Mark II, put an overclocket, because we have 2.5 gigawatts now with those fuel power plants. So I can be a little bit more free with my power usage. Um, so even an impure node gets us 150 a minute. And half will always be enough for this constructor, and this constructor is the one feeding our dimensional depot and such. Let's see if it makes enough long term. I could always add power shard just to make sure. 50% more. But yeah, let's go check on the other limestone mining and see how much. It doesn't look like it's very much. What's going on here? Part of the problem is you're not a Mark IV belt. We'll upgrade that. Might have been the whole problem, actually. Uh, Mark IV belt. There. There, there, there. What, are you a minor Mark II? You are. Oh, there's 300 a minute. There we go. That should be enough. And then this guy. Overclock him. There's another 150. Okay. So that should be enough of the old limestone now. And I'm doing this in a silly way. We should... Um, merger. What am I doing? Is this one enough for my encased industrial beam factory? This is the problem. Yeah, it's not. So I actually do need a splitter. I need to merge some in before and after. Which is a little weird. But that way we have enough for our encased industrial beam factory here. But then we can still potentially have a full belt afterwards. Once this backs up. Will this back up? I don't remember. I don't remember what this... Does this use the full... Are you using the full... That might use the full belt. I can't remember anymore. Maybe... Maybe I still need more limestone. Hmm. Well, regardless, that is... All we can do for now. No, I have one more limestone node. Never mind. Sorry, I still have one more node over here which I'm hesitant to use because it spaghettifies things further but we can rebuild all this iron stuff soon now that we've got iron ingots in a new spot um, but what we'll do is we'll do a ceiling mount we can come across we can limestone over here And then we can go through. Which, I don't know why this is so satisfying, but it is. Um, I have to do it like that. Oh, you can't reverse a belt. You can reverse a lift. Stuck. Uh, yeah, right here. Oh, 
All right, all that work for another 150 limestone. Cool, 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 cool. Oh. And... A player is in the way. Well, I can't get out of the way. There we go. Um, let's build in a straight line here. Merger over there. There we go. Now we got a full belt. Whee. Sweet. All right, well, there's limestone. And you can see the concrete's already, already working. And it's magic. Nice. Nice. All right. I still don't have cluster novelisks. I know that's the thing I want. Uh, where did I end up putting the fuel pipeline? Like over there. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. There the pipes are. Okay, so we need some oil processing. Maybe I'll do that in a separate building, but nearby. I'm not sure. These trees are probably gonna be in the way though. Whatever I'm planning, we don't need foliage for it. Ah, uh, nature never looked so good. Oh, I missed a bunch. Missed you. Missed you. Random scrub brush. Still missing something. Get out of here. Let's see, if I build... If I build on the global grid, then things will attach when and if I want them to. So that's nice. Um, this feels like the right amount of distance. The problem is this rock right here, so I have to build up pretty high to dodge it. So I don't know if I will, actually. I might just see if I can build kind of a skinny factory. The problem is refineries are so big. enough space to do some basic oil processing. Uh, blueprint. Fineries. They're so big. Where did they go? Those are mergers, so it's coming out that way. So this is backwards, but I can't, can't change that because... The way blueprints are. Yeah, that's in, that's out. I think. Alright. No. Wait a second, what? But those are splitters. Because of the arrows. Splitters are on the input. 
Oh. Yeah, never mind. I'm dumb. Um, things coming in make it a merger, which makes it the output. So there we go. So now the input's here. And the output's here. Yeah. Alright, and let's scooch it over as far as it'll go. That, that away. Alright, and then what I'll do, I'll probably need two. I'll need like one for plastic and one for oil. Or one for rubber, I mean. And... <sighs> hmm. I'll probably need two separate heavy oil residue lines for each. I was thinking I could mix it. Um, the problem is you you don't want to back up on heavy oil residue. So we'll have to consider the numbers. It's also important to note we can just make fuel out of heavy oil residue. So we shouldn't waste it. Now, diluted package fuel is strong, right? So check this out. Normally, you're only making four fuel from six heavy oil. This gets you 12 fuel from six heavy oil. You do need to package water and then unpackage the fuel. So the packaging is a little bit of a pain in the butt, but it is completely worth it. Diluted packaged fuel actually ends up getting you more fuel per oil than the fuel recipe. If you just make rubber, you end up getting four fuel from three crude oil because you get two heavy oil residue, right? and then that becomes four fuel. And so six gives you four normally, but instead six would give you eight. It literally gives you double the fuel and you happen to get rubber on top of it. So rubber becomes basically free if you're doing a lot of uh, making of regular fuel, which you might be doing. Or another way to think about it is as you make rubber, you basically get a ton of free fuel as an output by doing the packaged fuel. And then um, that makes petroleum coke worse, obviously. You wouldn't want to use that for power when you can use the packaged fuel. Um, but all that to say, uh, that doesn't answer my question of what am I going to do with all the heavy oil residue? I probably will... I don't know yet. Is there enough space on the side here for another belt? There is. Um, I'll probably do another blueprint with some space. One of them will be for plastic, one will be for rubber. Both will produce heavy oil residue, which means I'll need an overflow into an awesome sink in case I want the heavy oil residue. Uh, refineries. I already forgot which way it goes. Why is this so hard for my brain? Oh, I, I should just look at the top. Yeah, there we go. The shape of the building is what I should memorize, not anything else. Okay, and I'll leave a little bit of space between them. And then power, we just connect one to the other. Um, what's the the cost? The uh, crude oil cost. Oh, sweet. So that's only 90 for the plastic. And that'll get me 60 a minute. And the rubber is also 90. So I can easily power shard these uh, as needed. That'll only be 180 of a 300 input pipe. So I can almost double that with zero issues. All right. 
bit more Nobelisk. Nobby Nob action. Picked up our pipelines here. Nice. And boom. That should do it. We just need power for the whole build, which we can grab from over there. I need to decide walls what? Like, what do I want to do for walls? I haven't figured that out yet. The aesthetics are to be determined. But for now, we can at least get it running. There we go. And then that one will be plastic. This one will be rubber, which I guess I can just stack on top of this one. I hadn't even thought of that until just now. It's kind of convenient. I guess it'll manifold fill these other ones first, or did I forget to do something else? Did I not? I didn't connect the crude oil. That's what I forgot to do. There we go. And we should see rubber any moment. Okay, so plastic and rubber, we need, what was it? The heavy oil residue is what we need for our smokeless powder. What exactly does the valve do? Limits flow rates. The problem with heavy oil residue is that we need to basically get rid of it, right? And the only recipe, so you, the only way to turn it into a solid without requiring packaging is petroleum coke. So that is the way to basically like sink heavy oil residue is petroleum coke. So that might be what I end up doing. What's up, Katana1988? Welcome, welcome. Um, but I also want... The problem is there's no priority splitters for fluids, right? And so it's almost like we need to package all of it and then move that around with priorities, but that's terrible and I don't want to do that. So I'm not really sure uh, the easiest way to go about this. Because uh, basically, I just want to bring heavy oil residue over. That's going to be too high for the head lift. I don't know. We want to bring it over to this factory building. Which definitely will need a, a pump. Oh! When you hit Q, it stops your jetpack. There. And then... I don't know, we'll build it towards the end here. Production. I think it's my assembler blueprint that we need. Uh, I don't know why it's so hard for me to tell sometimes. There we go. Sure. And then we want to build... Black powder into... Wait, where's the other thing? Oh, it needs to be built in a refinery. Whoops. I 
know if I want refineries on this floor is the problem. Because the roof... I think I want the roof for this floor to only be four tiles up, and refineries are too tall for that. Uh, Vatamouse, yes, that is another option. But if the whole point is to sink it uh, at an inconsistent rate, you wouldn't want to use it as power. I mean, I guess it depends, but I want my power production to be consistent. This is kind of tricky. I will need a pump, too. I'm not sure yet. Are these... We'll have to wait until those back up with heavy oil residue to know for sure. Um, where the head lift stops. But I think it, it still can get to here, so I can just put a pump right there to get it the rest of the way. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next floor. This feels a little... A little risky, but we can make our decisions eventually. Uh, I will have to do a lot of changing things around, but this will be our second floor, I think. Is that tall enough? Handle what we've been doing with belts and such? Just barely. Maybe I go one tile higher. like this little slanted roof thing. Kind of makes it so that it's not just a, a, uh, a box. A box building. I, you know what? No, these these need to be underneath. Otherwise it'll it'll look wrong with the walls. The walls won't line up. Okay, so this is going to be our second floor. And the second floor has the benefit of not needing um, the belt. The belts can come up through the floor, is what I'm trying to say. That's the nice thing about the second floor. We're gonna have to set up black powder, which is coal and sulfur, and then we're gonna set up refineries for, what is it called, smokeless powder, which is heavy oil residue plus black powder. You'd think adding heavy oil residue into something would make it smokier, not smoke less, but you never know. Physics is weird, or I should say chemistry is weird. Maybe these should be glass floors. Do I have those yet? Materials. No, not yet. I bet I can go unlock it. You know what I need to do is add another launcher here for opposite direction. Acceptable. There we go. Now we can do some launching of ourselves. Go 
get some awesome points. I don't know why this is still over here. It's just where it lives now. We've got 11 total. Let's see if that's enough for... Customizer... There's glass roof material. Pipeline floor hole? I'm gonna need that, actually. Um, did I make up that this existed? Glass frame foundation, there it is. Perfect. Fix it never recalls a product. Every awesome item is guaranteed to work for its entire lifetime. Enjoy your purchase. I will. Just jetpack our way over here. Oh, look at the shadows. Oh, that's cool. That feels so... That's neat. There's the lighting of that. Feels very realistic. I don't know if I've ever felt so much like I'm not in a video game as like this moment right here. It's like when you're in an airport or something. That's neat. All right, so I actually want then... Oh, I guess I'm gonna need another pump because I'm going up so high. But... Where even does it live? Here, pipeline floor hole. Basically, I want my heavy oil residue to go straight up there. Pump here and probably. Why is it snapping there? Does it know that that's 20 meters higher than the other one? There's no way. There's no way it knows that. It can't know that. Right? Surely not. I mean, you'd think it could know that, but that feels like too much. It feels too easy, is what I'm trying to say. Maybe. Maybe it's smart enough to know that, at least for short distances. Otherwise, I'm not sure why it would be snapping to that point, other than maybe it snaps right underneath a floor hole or something. I'm not really sure. It could have multiple reasons for snapping to that, I guess. I also need a way to get up there easily. Um, I think a, a hyper tube. I was gonna say jump pad, but I think a hyper tube's the way to go. And glass frame foundations. Interesting. Tube entrance. I guess I don't need an entrance on the top, I just need an entrance on the bottom. to think this will be very fast. Oh, okay, it does go pretty fast. If you go vertical for too long, it does slow you down, but that's not too bad. And then I can do that. Oh, then I can't get down, though. Unless I make that into an entrance as well. But that's pretty fun. 
Pretty fun indeed. Oh god, this video is getting long as always. Okay, don't worry. We're almost there. So... So let's build... Extra space here. And we're going to start with some assemblers. I might do this manually because I don't need to automate a large amount of, of this yet. So I'm just going to build a single assembler and a single refinery for now. Gosh, I'm going to regret not having zooped this in tens. And now I'm going to have to count. the whole thing's 25 by 25. All right, so then refinery. I'm okay with a little bit of spaghetti up here. Um, leave some space. And then we need floor holes. I guess the floor holes depend on where sulfur and coal end up exiting. So the verticals are right here. I should be able to do something like that. And then we come down to there. And then of course the splitter doesn't line up. I should have done that. And then I can go out, and boom. Let me do the same thing with you, for the sulfur. Click, and it lines up. Let me do that, delete them, and then build it up. And there we go, and then we hop in our little hypertube. Floop. And now we should have... and sulfur. Beautiful. I'll go straight mode with those. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright, black powder. And then... <laughs> it's kind of a bus. Of, of sorts. It is some, some form of bus. I do want these foundations, though, in this little three-wide area. It's annoying it always defaults to the rotation I don't want. It doesn't remember the rotation. I have to keep re-rotating it. And then the pipeline. Um, the main bus thing, I mean, terrible idea is a very, very strong language. It's very much something you can do. Um, does it end up working out as nicely? Depends. If you're planning for it and it's what you're trying to accomplish, I think the main bus can work quite well. Um, what I really want is it's like, I want this to go vertical. Like right out the gate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. That's what And then, and then from there, we kind of want to, no, that's too much. That might work. Mm. Did I? Wait a second. 
Oh, the pump is too high. Ah. Aha! So it was snapping to the wrong place. Or no, did I just not power it up? I thought I connected it to power. Did I, did I make up that I connected it to power? Uh, I think I did. Yeah, I mean, it's a main bus as long as things are connected. Maybe I just forgot to power it up, because now it seems like it's working. You know, it, you don't have to put every item on a main bus for it to be called a main bus. Uh, this, what I have going is definitely a bus. Um, a main bus, even. It's just a question of, like, do you put everything on it? Probably not. But I am going to be putting, like, ingots on it and stuff. So it's kind of... Uh, yeah. So we do... We shouldn't need another pump. That's not... 20 more meters. So then the problem here is that that is just too... too uh, low. Let's try there. Yeah, Vatamouse, I think there are times to not use the main bus, kind of like what I'm doing right now, as an example. So, what is going on here? Yeah, like, screws on the bus is not the best idea. Unless you want five belts of screws. But, like, putting steel ingots on the bus and then using steel screws wherever you need screws is a good idea, right? Because I feel like I've... What have I done wrong? Is this, is this working now and it just wasn't working a minute ago? No, there's literally nothing in the... What is going on? It's like they're not actually connected. Are these not actually connected? This is so weird. How is there nothing here when that one's full right there? That's certainly, I, I'm 100% sure that's not 20 meters. 20 meters, uh, this is 8 meters from this roof thing to there. So that's maybe 10, 12 at the most. So. I don't know, I'm just going to rebuild it. I don't know what's going on. Connect to the floor hole. Oh, you know what it might be? I bet I know what it is. Ah, I didn't mean to go in. Um, all right, well, I do think we'll have to call it an episode there for you future YouTubians. Um, I am going to keep streaming here for a bit. But we're already at an hour and 20 minutes, and I think we're just going to have to call it. Sometimes you can't finish a project, but we'll see. We'll see Smokeless Powder soon and Cluster Novelisks. We've gotten a lot of work done in the last few hours, so uh, things are starting to look pretty good around here. But uh, yeah, for those of you on future YouTube, as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.